Hi, Mr. Vanderplug here. I'm going to show you how to access Pearson online. That way you can complete assignments while you're away from school. The link is pearsonsuccessnet.com. I will leave that link in the description. You want to go to the login screen, which looks like this. I've created a username and password for every student. Your username are the letters HT, your first name, and then your last name spelled out, all lowercase, no spaces. So for example, if this student was John Doe, their username would be HT John Doe, all lowercase and no spaces. Make sure that you spell your name exactly as it appears on school speak. Your password is your grade section plus the word science. So for example, if this student was in 7-1, their password would be 7-1 science. If you were in 6-2, your password would be 6-2 science. Or if you were in 8-1, your password would be 8-1 science. After you log in, you'll see the main screen, which looks like this. It'll say hello and your name. It will list our school to the upper right. And it will also list your book for your class. Seventh grade life science, your book will be in the center here. Earth science or sixth grade, your book will be, your book will be at the top. Eighth grade physical science, your book will be down at the bottom. If you click the explore button, you can actually read or open up chapters individually. So for example, I will click chapter one in the life science book. And this chapter is called what is life. When you open up a chapter, you want to enable Adobe flash player. So whatever browser you're using, you want to turn flash on. That way it loads properly in this window here. You can navigate through these windows using the buttons to the bottom right. There are sections for you to read and diagrams or photos for you to look at. And some of these are exactly the same as in your physical textbook. There are also sections where you can type in responses as well. Things that you type in will actually be recorded in the software and I can actually read what you write or type and grade it. When you get to the end of a section, it'll look like this. It'll say you are at the end. It'll tell you the questions you answered or did not answer for that particular activity or lesson. There are also additional tabs at the top. Each one has their own windows that you can navigate through. Some of these don't have anything for you to type in. There are also other things that you can use. Um, for example, interactive art are little animations or interactives or even little simulations that you can manipulate. This is about Reddy's and Pasteur's experiments, which is what seventh graders learn about at the beginning of the year. Here's just an example. You can set up this little virtual animation or experiment, and it'll show something like this. Obviously, if you're in a different subject, these interactive art or interactives will be different for you. So I'm just showing you an example of one from the seventh grade life science book. And I'm going to close this out so I can return to that main page. Under my work, this is where you will find assignments that I will post along with due dates. And it will, be, it will say assigned by the teacher, which is me, Vanderplug. When you complete assignments, it will be in the done section. So for example, this is an assignment called obtaining energy. This is a chapter. This was the date that it was due, assigned by. And I will also score your assignment and write a score here along with any comments as well. 
Again, the Explore tab is just a way for you to access any chapters individually online. That pretty much wraps it up. If you have um, issues or problems logging in to Pearson SuccessNet, just feel free to email me.